Hi, welcome to learn about the Percona Everest UI. Percona Everest is a cloud-native database platform to deploy and manage enterprise-grade PostgreSQL, MongoDB, and MySQL database clusters. Percona Everest provides a web interface for database management, as well as an API for users to integrate this into their platforms or create their own DBAs. Let's get started exploring the Percona Everest UI. You can choose a comfortable mode for your eyes. Let's open the settings section. Here you can add storage for backups. In the Monitoring Endpoints tab, you can add PMM instances for database monitoring. The Namespace tab shows which namespaces have Percona Everest installed and which operators are available for those namespaces. Now let's get to creating the databases. Percona Everest has a step-by-step -step interface for creating database clusters. Percona Everest leverages Percona operators to deploy cloud-native Percona distributions. We need to select a namespace, let it be development, and a database, for example Postgres. We are given a choice of database name, version, and storage class. Storage classes are configured in the Kubernetes cluster. It can be different types of disks and storage. In the second step, we configure the database cluster resources. Let's choose one node to start. The rest of the settings are default. 1 CPU, 2 GB of memory, and 25 GB of disks. We can scale this in the future. The third step is to configure backups. We haven't added backup storage yet, but that can be done immediately in this step. We will do it in the next video. Point-in-time recovery requires storage for backups too. The advanced configuration step allows you to set additional database parameters as well as enable external access. The last step is monitoring. We need to configure the monitoring endpoint for PMM. This can be done here or in the settings. Click Create Database. Great, our database is starting to initialize. Let's create another database. We create MongoDB in a different namespace. We also select one node. I do not enable backups, additional settings, or monitoring. You may find that creating different databases is equally easy. A second database has begun to be created. Let's create a third database. We haven't created MySQL yet and haven't used the third namespace. Let's choose a premium storage. We create the same with one node. Great, now we have three databases to experiment and explore. PostgreSQL is already running. In the drop-down box, we have the database information and connection details available to us. We can also open the database page by clicking on it in the list. Full details are available here, as well as a backups tab where you can also add storage. Let's go back to the list of databases. Each database has an action menu, three dots. Action menu allows you to edit, restart, create a copy from a backup, restore from a backup, suspend, delete database. Since we already have three databases, we can look at the other features of the interface. We can customize the columns of the list. Filters by columns are also available. This is convenient when there are many databases. So let's check out what it looks like in dark mode. Perfect, all three databases are up. Thank you, and see you in the next tutorial.